In today's video, we will learn about Imagism or Imagist movement. So, Imagism was a movement in modernist Anglo-American poetry that originated in 1912. It advocated the use of free verse, common speech pattern, clarity of expression through the use of precise images as a reaction to Victorian sentimentalism. This means Imagism favored the use of free verse. Free verse in the sense poem which do not have a specific rhyme scheme. Then they also used common speech pattern. Common speech in the sense the language that a common man uses in his daily life. And there was clarity of expression that was a reaction against sentimentalism. So sentimentalism specifically deals with the emotional aspect of the human life or a human being. Taking into consideration all these elements, we can now say that Imagism as a movement in poetry advocated the sharp use of language, precise words and use of lots and lots of images. Now the influence that the images poet had was the Japanese haiku poem. Now the haiku that is a Japanese word means a small three line poem that consists 17 syllables. Now this syllables means the sound that a word has. For example, if I say water, it has water. So these are the two syllables that are in the word water. Similarly, if we look here, the first and the last line have five syllables, while the middle line has seven syllables. So this is the feature of haiku poetry. And the main proponents of this group are T. E. Hume. Ezra Pound, Emmy Lowell, Hilda Doolittle, Richard Allington, William Carroll William, J. E. Fletcher. And here are few anthologies of the images poets. This includes Das Imagist of 1914, Some Images Poets of 1915, which was then followed by 1916 and 1917 edition. Then the magazine poetry in 1912 and the last one is the egoist that was from 1914. Another point to remember is that images publication also appeared and this images publication appeared between 1914 and 1917 and it was in the London that this group was centered. Although it was centered in London but it had its member from Great Britain, Ireland and the United States. Now if we cite some example, the most famous example of images poetry is In the Station of the Metro that is an haiku poem written by Ezra Pound. It was published in the year 1913. And now if we clearly look at this, we find that the poem has in total 14 words. Let me read this to you. It reads as the apparition of these faces in the crowd, petals on a wet black bar. So this poem manages to vividly evoke both a crowded subway station and a petal on a tree branch. By juxtaposing these two different images, the poem blurs the line between speaker's reality and imagination and invites the reader to relate urban life to the natural world and to perhaps consider each of this realm in a new light. With this, we are in the position to finally say that Imagist poem is the poem that is based on a single concrete image rather than elaborate description. And they believed in the mottos like make it new or the natural object is always the adequate symbol. With this ends today's video. I thank you for your attention and I look forward to see you in the another one.